Okay, so we have to integrate 1 over x squared minus 8x plus 27. So whenever you have a problem like this, the first thing you should try to do is at least mentally factor it. So if you think, uh, you know, what two numbers multiply to 27? Well, I guess 3 and 9, and that's not going to add to 8 or negative 8 in any way. So since it doesn't factor, um, you have to try something else. If it did factor, you would use something called the method of partial fractions, which is actually typically learned later in uh, a course in calculus. So, since it doesn't factor, what we do is we complete the square. So let's go ahead and do that. So x squared minus 8x, and then plus 27. So this is equal to x squared minus 8x. And so now what we do to complete the square is we take the coefficient of x, which is negative 8, we divide it by 2 and we square it. So negative 8 over 2 is 4, 4 squared is 16. Typically you do it in your head, but I'll show the work here. So then you square the negative 4, and it's always 2, and you always square it. So we put plus 16. You might say, okay, this is not correct, right? These are not equal. And you would be correct in saying that. These are not correct. So what are we missing? We're missing an 11, because 11 plus 16 is 27. So you take this number, divide it by 2 and square it, write down the result, and then you ask yourself, okay, what's missing to get 27? So 11. This piece here has a name. In math, they call this a perfect square because it can be written as something squared, and they call it a trinomial because it has uh, three pieces. Uh, tri means three. So it's called a perfect square trinomial, fancy name. What does it become? Well, it becomes this. So you keep the sign, and no matter what, you just always divide this by 2, no matter what. I just memorize it. I don't even, that's the point, I guess, is that you memorize it. So 8 over 2 is 4. And then you always have a 2 here. And the 11 hangs out. So it's a memory thing. You're not actually factoring. Even though you are factoring, you're not really thinking about the factoring. You're just memorizing it. You're just taking the 8 and dividing by 2 and keeping the sign. All right, so let's see what this becomes. This is 1 over. I'm going to write it like this, x minus 4 squared. And if you remember, there's a formula for this. This is going to be an arctangent. So you want to write the 11 as a number squared. So what you do is you write it as the square root of 11 squared dx. OK, let me refresh your memory on the formula. Maybe it's been a while since you've seen it. So it's 1 over x squared plus a squared dx. This is equal to 1 over a arctangent. And this is one of those formulas that, that, that you should just know uh, just in general. Like it's worth learning this formula. It's so useful. So now we just use the formula. Oh, not quite. Technically, we're supposed to make a u substitution uh, because it's not x. So I'll go ahead and, and be perfect. If you actually omitted the u substitution in this problem, you would still get it right because whenever you let u equal x minus 4, du is just dx. So you're not going to get like any extra constants or anything. You're just going to get u squared plus square root of 11 squared du. So we don't have like a, a dangling one half or anything. So you could probably get away with skipping the steps here on something like this. So this is equal to, so it's 1 over a, so 1 over the square root of 11 arctangent of u over a. I'll go ahead and skip a step here. So u is x minus 4. So x minus 4, that's our u, and then a is the square root of 11. And then we have our plus c. And that would be the final answer. This is a really nice problem. And again, if it would have factored, you would have taken a, uh, a different approach. So like if you had something like 1 over you know x minus 1, x minus 2 dx, say it factored like that, then when you, you would use something called partial fractions, which is studied uh, later. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is trying to learn some calculus. Good luck.